Okay, okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to talk about Black Friday. I don't think I've talked specifically about Black Friday before on this channel, um, but I think I made a, a blog post also. I'm gonna take off these because that's going to bother me. Like the reflection is going to bother me. So it's like blue light glasses because I sit with my computer like literally all day. And supposedly supposed to help. So, okay, but we're going to talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday and talk about how we can use these consumer holidays in a beneficial way, in a sustainable way, but also what kind of errors is very common to make, the pros and cons, and generally what to avoid. Let's go. So in Denmark, we don't actually celebrate Thanksgiving, but over the past five or six years, more and more stores and companies in Denmark have embraced the concept and are starting to include them and they have become more and more integrated into like the circular uh, yearly annual uh, consumer holiday package. <laughs> Just like we don't actually celebrate Halloween, we have like our own thing and we don't actually have uh, Valentine's but we have Valentine's anyway but these like big consumer holidays that is super super beneficial and very profitable for companies and stores because people like to buy stuff and companies like when you buy stuff but there's a massive problem with these consumer holidays and that's the risk of overconsumption. So what happens when we overspend is that we send a message to suppliers and to companies and to stores that not enough stuff is being produced and we need to produce more stuff and that's what happens when you overspend. In contrast, when you spend less, you send a message that we don't need as much stuff. So it's a huge problem, especially with waste. In 2019, the largest growing category of waste was e-waste. And that's what happens when we buy and discard stuff like laptops and televisions and cell phones because a new model comes along. And during Black Friday, this is especially bad because a lot of people end up buying something that they don't need. And I know a friend who works in the Danish Postal Service and he says that during the time between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they get like over 10 times as many televisions and laptops as, as they would in a normal month, which is something which is absolutely insane because what happened to our old laptops is that we usually just throw them away. And it's very, very difficult to recycle these items. So they just end up in landfill or they end up being shipped to places where they dismantle them and they're working really, really poor conditions to do so. Good advice, if you're going on Black Friday, don't buy specifically electronics that you don't need. And generally, any time of the year, don't buy electronics if your old piece of equipment works just as fine. We don't need the newest model on the market. <laughs> Side note, something that happens with the cell phones and, and electronic tech brands uh, like Apple, for instance, is that they will produce a new model that is just slightly different from the old model. So when you buy the new model, everyone around you can see that you got the new model. So there's like a level of luxury and prestige to it. And what we need to do to change that is say, meh. The only way this dynamic will change is if we remove the prestige from these products. Also with clothing, overconsumption is a giant problem. It's estimated that an American person yearly throws out 70 pounds of functional clothing, which is just extreme. And in fast fashion, what happens is that clothes are so cheaply made and they're so like, yeah, both cheaply made and poorly made if that makes any sense. So it doesn't really seem desirable for consumers to repair them because it's cheaper to actually buy new things. And it's a huge problem that consumers do not want to repair their clothing because materials like cotton and polyester and every kind of material actually takes a lot of resources to produce and are produced by people who work in extremely poor conditions, but that's a whole other thing. And I have videos about that as well. During Black Friday and Cyber Monday, a lot of people are buying their stuff online. And I so do see the appeal of going online rather than standing in line and trying on stuff and sweating and carrying stuff and it's awful. But buying something online also comes with consequences. I recently made a video about what happens to clothes when we return them after I've bought them online. And the sad truth is that a lot of products are simply just thrown away when you return them after you've bought them online. There are over 52 different seasons in a lot of fast fashion stores. So when clothes are no longer in season, that is, they have been there a week, they will simply be thrown away or discarded. 
So by the time your returned item has gone through a repackaging process and has been redistributed, it will have gone out of style. It's the notion of inventory. I actually thought that during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, a lot of companies and stores would produce extra things so a lot of people could buy this stuff. But what actually happens according to Business Insider is that during this period between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and I believe generally maybe in November, they have less inventory than the rest of the year because they advertise their super cheap products and their 70-80% off televisions and what have you not. And when the consumers get there, that specific cheap item has been sold out. And because the consumer, like the person, they're already there, they're gonna buy something that's perhaps on sale but maybe less cheap and they're buying something that perhaps isn't on sale at all and that way the store will sort of manipulate you or trick you into buying something that you didn't even know that you were going to buy or something that isn't as cheap as the thing you thought you were going to go home with also another thing that i would really like to stress both with black friday but especially with cyber monday is that the profits that are made during this consumer holiday is not necessarily something that benefits the individual employees. Actually, the individual employees doing these holidays are overworked like crazy and it's physically very, very straining for a lot of them. I am not here to shame or bash anyone who buys something on Black Friday or on Cyber Monday. What I really, really want to focus on is the massive overconsumption of goods that happen. If you wait the entire year to buy that laptop or that vacuum cleaner or that bedding that you couldn't buy the rest of the year because it was too expensive and then it comes on sale on Black Flight and Black Friday and you end up buying it there. That's not really the issue. The issue is when we buy a lot of stuff that we don't even need. It's not buying that one thing that you actually do need because people do need a laptop or a vacuum cleaner or bed sheets. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I was also talking to someone uh, who explained to me that a lot of people don't have the option of not using Black Friday because they can't afford regular price items. And that's not the issue either. The issue with overconsumption is generally that we have a massive, massive middle class that can easily afford to buy products that are sustainably and ethically made because those products are often a bit more expensive. But they choose not to buy those products because they don't want to, they want to spend their money differently. And that way we end up with a large group of people that could do something differently but choose not to because they would rather have a lot of cheap things rather than one good quality thing. And that's my issue and that's the people that I really sincerely hope watches this video because if you buy a t-shirt for two dollars there's definitely definitely something wrong with that t-shirt. Also if you buy a t-shirt for five dollars there's still definitely something wrong with that t-shirt. It shouldn't cost that, but if you don't have any money at all, if you can only afford a $2 t-shirt, this is not the, this this is not me saying to you that you're a bad person, not at all. Some people are forced to buy fast fashion, and I'm 100% certain that those people are not appreciative of that situation because we would all like more financial freedom. So here we are. <laughs> it's just really important for me to stress that overconsumption is really the villain here. Plain consumption is not that bad. And over the past few years, I see how Black Friday and Cyber Monday has also been embraced by more sustainable companies and by like eco shops and whatnot. And although that, that might seem a little bit hypocritical at first glance, it's really, really cool because that means that people that cannot usually afford a menstrual cup or a safety razor or like that ethically made t-shirt can suddenly afford that because then things are on sale and I think actually that's kind of cool and really neat. So if you find yourself in a situation where you on a daily basis cannot afford these eco products and some of them can be a little bit more expensive. For instance, a clean canteen water bottle can be quite pricey. Of course, you don't need that, but you can buy any sort of water bottle. But if you do want one of these products, then Black Friday is perhaps a good time of year to look into them and see if you can find them on sale. So that was just me trying to bring a little bit like con conscious consuming into a holiday that is the exact opposite of that. And just to remind you that consumer holidays are there because they want to trick you into over consume, but you don't have to do that. And you have all the power not to. Vote with your money and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye.
thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!